In 2009, scientists at the Institute of Materials Research and Engineering Singapore created the world's smallest working gear, controlled at a molecular level. This was officiated by the Guinness World Records, but when it comes to the largest gear, there's a bit of controversy. It's a touchy subject in manufacturing circles, with competing firms often reluctant to discuss. From towering wind turbines to immense mining equipment, these gears play critical roles in powering, moving, and shaping the infrastructure of modern society. They require specialized and intricate manufacturing, even in post-process. For example, James Engineering redesigned its state-of-the-art chamfering and deburring machine by adding an open back. This adjustment allows them to effortlessly handle gears or components of any size. Some of these gears are so massive they could host an entire manufacturing staff comfortably. Take for instance, Hoffman Engineering's recent shipment of a forged steel mill gear, a colossal, with a diameter of 13.2 meters, weighing a staggering 73.5 tons. But can they claim the title of the world's largest gear? Not so fast. Rexnerd and Falk counters with their 13.5 meter sag mill gear. Among others, Vanderwagen Gears isn't far behind, but just slightly above these all is Ferry Capiton. Already producing a 13.6 meter girth gear, their machines have the capability of producing a 16 meter gear. So does this mean Fairy Capiton takes the crown? Not quite. A big debate started on the gear technology page when someone brought up a 92 meter diameter thickener rack. This brought into question if the thickener rack or dragline rack should even be considered a gear because they themselves don't rotate. The late Elliot K. Buckingham, an industry authority wrote, to my mind, a single gear is a piece of metal with projections on it. A gear is designed to be operated with another gear or gears. In this light, the world's largest gear might be a cog railroad. With the rail serving as a rack, this would theoretically be an infinite size gear. Depending on how you define a gear, you may still give Ferry Capiton the crown. However, these companies are not building gears for their size, and time has passed since the creation of those gears noted. A new victor, producing a custom job, could exist and not even know it. Ultimately, the motive to create these enormous size gears boils down to meeting customer needs. If a customer demands a 40 meter gear, these companies will deliver. It's what they do. And as technology advances, gears will only get larger, leaving us in awe of what's to come. Stating who holds the record for the biggest gear might be as elusive as finding the best cup of coffee. And until Guinness verifies it with a tape measure, skepticism will remain. To learn more about James Engineering and how we contribute to large scale manufacturing, reach out to us or visit our website at jamesengineering.com.